Hey fam, what's up? As of July 15th, a Township Tale is released on Oculus Quest. That is July 13th for pre-orders. Now this game has already been out on PC VR, but it only have access to it through their website launcher. Now what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be guiding you through the tutorial of the game. You may think that's a little weird, but there's nothing really self-explanatory, so we just wanted to help you out by giving you a, a clear understanding of what they're asking in the tutorial so you can get through it in a speedy manner. Okay, and to get started, Kelly's gonna help you create your avatar. Okay, everybody, I'm just gonna show you real quick a couple of tips on how to create your avatar. So you walk over to your left here, and it gives you all these options for customizing your avatar from facial expressions to clothing and other accessories. So why don't we just do an example, click on the shirt. Ooh, I want this one. So you just grab what you want from the menu here, walk it over to your avatar, and plop it on them, like so. And if you want to change the color of anything on your avatar, it's super simple. You just come over here, grab a paintbrush, grab the color you want for your paint, and ta-da! And you can even do the small details with the little brush, like that. And you can paint everything on your avatar. And then once your avatar is completed, you just turn around to this machine over here, and you turn it, and ta-da! You have a little version of you, and just make sure to plop it on this little platform, and then it is saved. <laughs> Okay, so once your avatar is saved, you can grab it before you start your game, plop it on here, and then it'll change to whichever one you selected. Obviously, this is the same one I had, but you get the idea. And if you come on over to this wall, you can purchase in-game currency called Talums, and you can use it for different, and you can use it for purchasing different things in-game, such as clothing with the symbol on it. All right, and once your avatar is selected, you come on over to this platform and it'll transport you into the tutorial. All right, and then this is the beginning of the tutorial. Hi, Ben. Hi. <laughs> and there will be boards throughout the tutorial telling you what you need to complete for each section as Vanna is showing us right here. <laughs> So we're both going to be taking turns showing you how to complete each section and we're going to keep it super simple for you guys so you can get through the tutorial in less than two days. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so first by discovering the crafting island, you walk onto this island. Next, we're going to create a pouch. So to create a pouch, you walk over to one of the ingredients, you pick it up, and you put it literally on your belt. Okay, next up, you have to grab one more of the same ingredients. So you pick up another thing out of the ground, you put it in your belt, now you should have two in your belt. Hold on your grip button, on your pouch, and you pull it up and you will have created a pouch. See, that's all you do. You have to have more than one item to create a pouch though in your belt. So then you can just put that wherever you want. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna craft a stick and stone together. So you have your stones, you're gonna move over and you're gonna find yourself a stick. All right, here is my stick. Now I pick it up. I grip the stone out of my pouch and they're gonna highlight like this. Once it goes green, light colored green, you put them together and they combine. And then it'll say you have crafted a stone and stick together. And then you can even put this on your belt if you want. If you wanna make a hammer, you put two together. There you go, now you have a hammer. You'll need this later, so don't don't lose track of that. Put that right on your side there. All right, this next one is a little tricky. Move five of an item between pouches. Now that may sound confusing, but I'll show you exactly what it means. First, you need at least five of any ingredient in your pocket. All right, so now I have six grass in my pocket. So I'm gonna hold the grip button, which pulls it out and makes it a pouch. Then from here, what I'm going to want to do is hold the grip button again on the other hand, which will then split it. Good. Now I have two pouches of three. They just want you to swap five between either one. So with your thumbstick, you can swap between each one. And you can do that as many times as you want. And I just got the achievement, so that just do it five times. And you'll be able to get your transfer five ingredients between each pouch. Okay, the next thing is going to be craft a bag using a stone hammer. Now what you need to craft a bag is sticks 
and grass, and you're gonna need a lot of it. How much? I don't know, we're about to find out. You are going to need grass and sticks. So here we have it, and I have 15 of each in my pouch, so does Kelly. So we're gonna start off by doing a stick here, it'll all highlight, which is perfect. A stick here, stick here, and now it asks, it shows you that you need to hammer these in. So you remember that hammer that you got? Yeah, give it a good whack. Easy. Just hit away. Ugh. Got it. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it right on my, right on the table. Good, next up, I need another stick here. Hey, don't finish it for me. Good, there we go. Hammer in the top ones. I gotta, I gotta re readjust this. Oh, come on, get in there. My hammer keeps glitching. Yeah, it's, <laughs> ah. it's a lot harder than it looks. It's going in crooked. <laughs> yeah, it went in crooked. Bad. Look at your terrible crafter. <laughs> I'm not a crafter. I'm a fighter. You're not, not I'm a... not a crafter. I'm a fighter. <laughs> All right, here it is. Put the grass on there now. Oh, another stick. On the grass. Oh, you can also turn it here by grabbing this. There, give it a turn. Good. There you go. And then grass there. And then last hit and last nail. Hey, see, we completed a completed it. Excellent. Now what you can do is you can grab it and you can hold it out. You can put it on the ground or put it on your back. And then whenever you want access to it, you can just pull it out. And you can also put tools in there as well. Ah. Like that. You're going to need a bag as you go because, honestly, there's a lot of ingredients that you're going to want to pick up. And that's it. We're all done. Good job, Kelly. Woohoo! Next, we're going to move on to the next island. Okay, the next section is going to be chop wood glade. And I'm going to be walking you through how to complete the wood cutting island. So first you're gonna wanna grab one of these axes. And I recommend grabbing the small axe if you can find one because you'll have to use both arms with the large axe. So this just keeps things easier. And we're gonna go find ourselves a nice tree. Aha, you look nice. <laughs> and you're just gonna keep swinging really hard at the tree until it gets chopped down. Hey! Timber! Okay. First step is complete. Now, you need to chop this tree into a log. <laughs> and then you're going to want to chop that log into a smaller log. <laughs> and then you're going to want to chop this smaller log into three pieces of firewood. Whoa, you got six. I got six. Happy birthday. <laughs> There it is, chop oh. three tree logs. Yay! Yay! Now the next task for this island is to eat three pieces of food, and it's very, very simple. You just grip, hold them up to your mouth, and it counts as eating a food. And you eat three of these, and you've eaten three pieces of food. There we go. Yay! <laughs> and that's it, that's the whole island. It's the whole woodcutting island. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so first, before we discover the mining island, we're gonna craft a flint and stick together, and then we're gonna craft a torch using dry grass. Now, honestly, I think these can be done both at the same time. So what you're gonna wanna do is, first you're gonna wanna find yourself some flint that's in the ground over here. All right, so you simply pull it up. There you go, you take your stick and you combine it on the side, not the top. That will be your flint and stick together. Then you take the grass, just one, and you put it on the top, and there you have your torch and an ax, all in, uh, your mining pick, all in one, everything. So to start a flame, you're gonna wanna grab another piece of flint, and to be honest, since it's already on there, you just hit them together physically, and like in the real world. And there you go. Ooh. Now you have a torch and your mining pick all in one. I'm gonna keep this piece of flint for later. So, 
Kelly will make her torch, and then we're gonna head in to the mines. Ooh. And you can even light each other's torches, which is really cool, and this will be helpful later in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can even hit the flints together against each other. Oh my goodness. This is like... <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, now, if you'd like to not have to hold down the grip button, it's pretty simple to change from a grip that slips to a grip that holds. And all you have to do is double tap your index finger button, and then it switches to a hold. I, I have, my hands are not on my grip button anymore, and it just holds it. All right, let's go. All right, at the top here, it'll remind you what you need to do. Once you get up here, the Discover the Mining Island will be complete. Now, all you need to do now is mine two boulders. The reason why we made the torch is because once you get in here, it'll get very, very dark. Perfect. And here we are. So what you're going to do is all you have to do is just hit him. Perfect. You can take the ingredients if you want and put them in your pouch or on your back. If you just take your the ingredients and you put them right over your back, it'll automatically go into your back pouch. All right, one more, and then I'll have my two. There it is, mine two boulders, all done. Completed the mining, I mining island. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> all right, next island. Okay, so for the very last island, it is basically the welcome island or the meta island. <laughs> and you're just gonna complete all the tasks in there, and they're basically just activating all of the boards that give you information about the game. Okay, so when you go off to the right over here, there's a nutrition board, health board, that you can read, and it gives you all the information. And once you complete reading them, you just grip the hand on here and hold it until it's done glowing. And then it is complete. All right, and then this explains to you how you can look at your wrist for your health and fullness and nutrition stats. And it pops up right on your wrist. Mm hmm And then you come on over to this section, and it tells you how to use your menu buttons. So this arrow icon is for returning to the main menu. This icon is for toggling other gamer tags, whether you want to see them or not. This icon is for adding other players if you want to become friends. And this icon is for turning your mic on or off if you feel like talking to other players or not. And once you have read these and completed them, you just hold your hand on here until it is complete. All right, so to access the quick quick menu, all you have to do is hold out your left hand, hold down the Y button, and your options will pop up. Camera is currently only available to PC VR users, but I assume they're gonna bring that to Quest users someday. Now to access the bubbles, all you have to do is hover your hand over it, and they will get bigger. By letting go of the Y button, like on the exit, the bubble will pop up. So you just grab it, pull it up to your face, let go, and there you go. It'll take you back to the start. Now from here, you should be able to join other games. This is your main menu. You have your own servers here, my servers, and you have discover servers. So if you hold down the discover servers, you'll be able to see servers from everyone else in the game that's currently playing. If you want to just see your own servers, uh, you flip the My Server switch. Okay? Over here are all your settings. This is for lo everything from locomotion to audio. Just by flipping the switches, you can see that they have smooth motion, they have teleport. You can even see, uh, you can even change it if you wanted to the movement based on free motion or locomotion to based around your head or your hands. So, a lot of options are here for you. Moving over to the create a server side, you can create your own server that only you and select people that you allow to join. So, you just hit click start here. You can give it a name. Good, you hit return, hit next. You're gonna give it a description. This is all changeable in the future. All right, who can join? Now you can make it open, public, or private. So we're just gonna make it private for now. So when you click on private, you click the arrow, 
confirm these settings. It'll tell you, it'll ask you the region, the description, the name. Once you hit yes, your server is being made. Now for Quest users, you get a free server with your purchase of the game. PC VR users, however, must become a supporter to get access to their own server. However, this, this game can be played as free to play because technically you could play PC VR and only join other players. Once it says that it was successfully created, you're all set. You're your own, I'm the only member. Now you can invite your friends. So we're gonna click invite friends. Look at, we can invite Lemony Drop. Right, Kelly? There we go, click on invite Lemony Drop. Then you go over here and she'll get a notification. Okay, now I just got a friend request and it says from VPTV, which is the room Ben created. And I will hit decline, no kidding, accept. <laughs> so now I am a part of the VP TV group that Ben invited me to. And then on the list over here, it'll list all of the friends that you have added from in the game. For example, I have Ben or Lego added to my game. And if you have more friends, they will show up on here. And one last thing, in case you want to change your avatar before you jump into a game, you just go out this door right here. And there's an avatar creator set up over here and you can change it if you decide you want a different look or a different avatar. I have this one already pre-made, plop it on. And then the game that I jump into, my avatar will look like this. And now so I can join Ben in the new VPTV server that he invited me to, I just hold down my server lever. And look, VPTV is right there with one member. Turn my little pirate ship wheel. <laughs> Grab the bubble and bloop. Hi, Ben. Hi. <laughs> and this is your game. Woo. From here, you're going to be able to do a ton of different things. Okay, and then as soon as you come to this sign, it'll tell you which way to go into the town. So that is how to complete the tutorial. Hopefully that helps you guys out a lot and makes it a lot quicker and simpler. But if you want additional information on how to proceed further into the game, there are lots of videos on YouTube already since the game has been available on PC VR for over a year now. Big thank you to the devs for supplying keys for us to show you this game early. We really appreciate it. Now the game is already available on PC VR, but if you'd like to purchase the game on the Quest, the release date is the 15th and the 13th for those that pre-order the game early. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like below. If you have some comments on what you think about the game or how you feel about it on the Quest or PC VR that the community would like to know about, please drop it in the comments below also. If you want more content delivered directly to you, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button for notifications in the future. Thank you so much for watching, Moon, and we will see you in, in the, the next, next game. game.